Welcome to my YouTube channel OS VFX. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create animated infographic slide in PowerPoint. This is how the slide works. When I click, it will show the option 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I have created two slides, one with animation and the other one is without animation. So today I am going to show you how to create the animated slide. The first step is to add a rectangle shape. Go to insert shapes and select rectangle and draw the rectangle from the top to bottom and shape outline make it no outline and you can give any uh, color you like and then press ctrl d reduce the size and give some dark gray colors and bring it here Add one more by pressing Ctrl D and bring the another one here. I'm going to add some text here like 0, 1. Just increase the size, make it bold and white. Then for this one, the pink rectangle, I'm going to properties, I'll say the shadow effect, which is towards the offset right. And I will just increase the distance, maybe 10. You can add the text by going to insert and text. In this case, I'm just going to copy the text from my previous slides. I'll just bring this down and this one I'll keep it here. Now I'm going to give the animation effect. To give the animation effect first of all I'm just going to cover this one. When I'm covering this one still the zero one is showing up so for this zero one I'm selecting and I'm just sending it back. Go to format and say send back and then cover the whole area here pink should not be visible and then go to animation enable the animation pane and add animation go down and select the line which is going down it's going uh, which is more than necessary so I'm just going to reduce the size you can just drag this by holding the shift key and leave it so if you see here so it's uh, very slow also and it has to go further down. Go to properties and make it fast and effect. I just increase the bouncing effect. So if I just see this one, so all right. Now I'm going to give the animation for this text and uh, for this icon. First select the icon under animation just say fade. That should happen with previous and select the text as well fade and this also should happen with previous. So if you see here when I click it comes. Alright. Now the same thing I'm just going to copy the the next option I'm just going to select here and just say send to back and just bring it maybe till here all right and just adjust the text and if you want you can just change the the icon and for this I'm just going to reduce this one here and I'll make it 2 it has to go down the text I'll bring it more down should be here alright and then I will cover it back so anyway with this one the animation already copied so if I click this one and this is 2 again if I want to change the color 
there are two ways first is to hide this rectangle under home go to select and enable the selection pane and you can just hide this one and then if you want to change the color for this I'm just going to give some a different color here and then I can just enable it back so if you see here it will the first option and this is my second option so similarly I'm just going to do the same thing I'm just going to add first of all select press ctrl D bring it here and under format say send to back and again you can just push it back all right and the last one again press ctrl D say send to back and if you want to change the color first of all I have to change the color for this it has to start somewhere from here I'm going to shape fill say some different color this is my option 3 bring it here bring the text down and then enable it back so if you see here this is my first my second my third and for the fourth also I'm just going to do the same thing bring this down this is my fourth option and I'm just adjusting so if you see first option second third and fourth and for this area also I'm just going to copy one of the object press ctrl D and for you have to give the shadow effect which is again to the towards the right and then you can just bring it and if you want to increase you can just increase it shadow effect distance I'm just going to increase the size And if you want to give some blur effect, you can just give the blur effect. So this is my option 1, option 2, option 3 and option 4. So I have created two slides. This is without animation and this is with animation. So that's it from me friends. Hope you like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel OSVFX. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.